Alright, so we're going to do example 7 from chapter 4 notes together here. So what we have in the question is an object of weight 49 Newton. So dia dah bagi tahu object kita according to this. This is according to the picture here. This is our object and this object has a weight of bukan mass eh. Dia kata weight 49 Newton. Alright. It's suspended by two string. Okay, dia terikat pada dua tali. Right, this one object is suspended by two string at 30 degree and 70 degree to the vertical as shown in the diagram. Alright, the object is in equilibrium. Okay, apa maksud equilibrium dekat sini? This gives, an, it gives us an information such that kita punya force here, the total force here is equals to zero. Alright, itu maksud equilibrium dekat sini. The object has total force of zero here. The object has been balanced. Alright. Calculate the tension in each string. So, kita nak cari tension pada kedua-dua tali. Sebab kita ada dua tali kan. Dia kata each here. So, you want to find the tension in both the string. Tension dalam tali pertama dan tension pada tali kedua. As you can see dalam soalan dia tak min dia tak mention yang mana tali pertama yang mana tali kedua. So, you can simply assume. Let's say I call this as the first tali and this one as my second tali. Tak ada masalah. Boleh. Apa-apa je. Right? Because they did not mention in the question. So, our objective here to find the tension. And we have been given a certain information here. So, what are we going to do is, first we are going to start from identifying the forces. Alright? Kita ada belajar lima jenis force dalam syllabus kita. Normal force, weight force, tensional force, frictional force. Dan juga external force. Kita ada five forces. So, we are going to identify does this object has any of these five dekat sini. Alright. So, the first one kita nak tengok normal. Untuk normal, the object must have a surface. Objek itu kena bersentuhan dengan sesuatu permukaan. According to this diagram, no. The object is hanging here. Tak ada surface. It is not touching any surface. Maka tak ada normal force. Next, weight. Weight, obviously we are going to have weight. Memang akan ada sebab dia ada mass. And as you can see, dalam soalan dia dah cakap object of weight W is equal to 49 Newton. Dia dah bagi tahu nilai W kita adalah 49 Newton dekat sini. Okay, next adalah tension. Okay, tension. Yes, we have two strings attached to the object. Dua tali yang berlainan. Maka kita akan ada dua Tension dekat sini. Tension for this one. Let's say kita panggil ini T2. And then this one. Kita panggil dia T1. So we have two tension here. And then do we have any frictional? Kalau tak ada permukaan. No normal force. Maka obviously tak ada friction jugalah. Alright. For you to experience friction. Sama kena ada permukaan. Dan permukaan itu kena kasar. And then external force. Any push or pull in the object. Tak ada juga. Alright, so we have only three forces here. Next, after we have identified the forces, we are going to sketch the free body diagram. Alright, so I'm going to start by drawing my Cartesian plane. So, but the object is just simply hanging. So, I can ambil Cartesian yang common, iaitu X horizontal, Y adalah vertical dekat sini. And then, my object is going to be a dot here, just a particle. And then, I'm going to transfer all the forces that I have here. W tension another tension here alright 30 degree dan juga 70 degree this is my free body diagram and then dia cakap find the tension 1 and tension 2 so kita nak tahu apa nilai ketegangan that has been experienced here for that what are we going to do is we are going to use this information here the total force must equal to 0 total force equals to 0 as you can see you have forces along x and also y so apa kita buat kita akan ada summation f along x kena sama dengan kosong summation f along y pun kena sama dengan kosong so what you can do is you start by drawing a table. Kenapa nak lukis table adalah kita nak masukkan semua forces yang kita ada dekat sini dalam table mengikut komponen-komponen dia. Alright, so what you have here, three types of forces. Force pertama, weight, tension satu, tension dua. X komponen, Y komponen. 
This is what you have here. Alright. W is along Y component. Dia direct ke bawah. W is always downwards. Direct ke bawah along negative Y. So negative 49. Sebab dia dah bagi nilai. It is mentioned in the question. Kalau dia tak bagi dalam soalan. Macam mana nak cari nilai W adalah W is equal to M. G mass times the gravitational acceleration here. And mass times the gravity here. So along X dia kosong. And then T1 here. T1 kita berada di antara X dan juga Y. It is in between your X and your Y. So you will have T along X here. T along Y here. So kita akan resolve dia. Kita akan ada T along X ke kiri yang negatif. T1 X and then kita akan ada positif T2 X. Alright. Next I'm going to draw my T2 pula. T2 saya is in this direction. This is my T2 along X and this is my T2 along Y. Ke kanan positif T2 X. Ke atas positif T2 Y. Sorry, ni tersalah tulis. Ni adalah T1 along Y. Alright. Sekarang, apa yang akan jadi adalah this whole thing, this whole thing, your X component here, when you sum up, should equal to zero. Sebab dia equilibrium. So, total dia kita dah tahu. Sekarang, bukannya kita nak cari total. Selalunya kita cari summation Fx, summation Fy. Lepas tu kita cari magnitude of X. Kali ni tidak. Apa kita nak buat adalah kita nak tak kita dah tahu dia adalah kosong. Ini pun kalau kita tambah kena dapat kosong. So what are you going to do is you're going to make them into an equation now to find the unknown dekat sini. Right? So I know my summation fx is equal to 0. I'm going to add everything along x component. Right? Kosong tak payah tulis dah. Negatif t1x campur dengan T2X should equals to 0. T1X dekat sini adalah apa? T1X along X dekat sini eh. This is what we are talking. Kalau awak tengok theta kamu 30 sentuh paksi Y. Kalau ada sentuh paksi Y, Y yang akan ambil cos 30. Maka X sekarang akan ambil sin 30. Because the theta is touching your Y axis. Plus T2 along X pula. T2 along X sini this is your T2 along X. The theta touches Y component. Therefore, X akan going to build sine 70. Is equals to 0. Kalau kamu tengok, you can actually press your calculator for the value of sine 30 which is 0 0.5. Negative 0.5 T1 plus dengan sine 70. You will get 0 0.94 T2. Is equals to 0. Alright, so saya nak jadikan salah satu ni subject because kita ada dua unknown. So, I'm going to make this as a subject. So, my T1 here will become, uh, bawa ke situ, negative, negative and then cancel 0.94 divide with 0.5 T2. This 0.9 pun boleh simplify guna calculator. You should get 1.5. Okay, dah dapat T1 in terms of T2. Saya tulis balik supaya nampak lebih jelas. T1 kita sama dengan 1.88 T2. So, this is our first equation. So, kita ada another uh, equation kita menggunakan Y component. Because you have two unknown, you must have two equation. Baru boleh solve dia. Okay, so sekarang saya akan buat summation Fy pula. Sama kan dengan kosong. You're going to sum all this to get a zero here. So, what we have here, negative 49 W. Campur dengan T1 along Y. Campur dengan T2 along Y should equals to 0. And then negative 49 plus T1 along Y. T1 along Y. Ini adalah T1 kita. Along Y. Atas. Sentuh paksi. Sorry. The theta touches paksi Y. Maka this one become cos. T1 cos 30 plus T2 cos 70. Tadi. Kita dah deduce dah kenapa eh. And then, now you can press your calculator, simplify, cos 30. So, you get negative 49 plus width 0 0.8661 plus width 
0 0.342 is equals to 0. Then negative 49 plus with 0 0.866. T1 adalah, so you can see this is your T1. So I'm going to substitute dia masuk ke dalam sini terus. Okay. Substitute. 1.882. Jangan tertinggal T2 tu. Plus 0 0.342 is equals to 0. And then you press your calculator 0 0.866. Multiply with 1.88. You should get. Plus with. 1.6282 plus with 0.342. So, T2 dengan T2 ni kita boleh simply tambah. Just simply add them. 1.628 plus with 0.34. should get plus 1.968 T2 sama dengan kosong. Sequals to 49. Buat 49 ke sana. And then you can simply get the value of your itu dulu 24.890 lah kan round off dapat 90 newton this is your t2 alright kalau kamu tengok yes ada jawapan 24.9 dekat sini ngam sorted tak habis lagi ada lagi satu t then you can now simply substitute this value inside here to get your t1 so t1 kita akan jadi 1.88 darab dengan 24.9 we should get 1.88 times 24.9 46.81 newton alright 46.8 hangam maka selesai this is what you will be doing in the chapter